Once again, you are all welcome to this special edition. I'm super delighted to be having all of you with me on this edition, and I believe it's going to be a very great time. And I think mm. you started the mm. answers to my next question, mm. which says, what are the things you would have done differently? Mm. Or if you are to have another baby, mm. what are the things you do differently? Mm. So the question are we going to answer it together so that we save time? Mm. What changed between the first child, the second child, and the third child? And what if you are to have another baby? Even I know some of us will be the one. <laughs> but I think I have that thing I would have done differently. And I'm going to share my own side of the story. So what are the things you would have done differently? But I would want to know what are the difference between the first child and the second child? Um, I'd, I'd really say I've always been aware that every child is different. Mm -hmm. They are unique in their own way. Mm -hmm. Just not just outside. Say somebody's child is different from you, even in your house. Mm -hmm. So pregnancy number one is different from pregnancy number two. Child number one is different from child number two. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think that was what I understood earlier on in life. For example, my daughter didn't speak, or she was speaking, but she didn't speak clearly till she was about three, going on four. Mm -hmm. So now she's so she's speaking, but her sentences are not that um, perfect. Mm. But my son started mm. speaking at one plus. Mm. He started working at maybe seven months mm. because he's learning from his sister as well. And my daughter also, mm. she's learning from. So we should understand all these things. I wouldn't say I would do anything much different in raising them, mm. apart from still commit my my parenting technique to the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. I think that's the major part I I have an issue with. Other than that, raising kids has been to be honest very phenomenal. Other than I don't have help much of this <laughs> I struggle with help but I I I have this idea of how I want my kids to be and I go with them. So recently I've just been I met I messaged to you the other day. They've been super from homeschooling mm -hmm. and it's just homeschooling, nothing else. Mm -hmm. So they are looking for other things to, to fill do. up that time, mm. which I don't want them to do. To do. So I go to my Google, blah, 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 blah. get ideas on what to do, mm. what to do with them, what to do with them, mm. how, to, what craft to engage them, mm. where is the next best thing to take them to. Mm. These are things that I, I think a parent should constantly do that. Do you know, yourself. it was easy for you to take that step of, okay, I don't want my child to do this. I'm going to check Google and know what needs to do because you have a vision. So it's very important for every parent to have a vision for every child. Okay, this is what I expect my child to do at this age. It's going to help. So I've seen parents who doesn't even picture their, like, okay, we love ourselves. I made a video before, after marriage, what next? We love ourselves. People think that is all. It's not enough. You love the guy, okay, you fell in love. Doesn't really matter what happened. Okay, you guys are together. At one point, if you want, Child, so children are going to come in. Yeah. So what next? So a lot of people don't picture those children in the in the scenario of marriage. So they don't have vision for them. So we, I think every mother should have a vision. My two years old, this is what I want. Mm -hmm. If there's something I'm so particular about that, I you know, I saw a child years back when I was teaching. This boy is just about three years, and this boy can read not anything, mm -hmm. bring, bring anything, mm -hmm. dictionary, whatever. You can do it. I said to myself. I know I'm going to have a child hmm. My child was read fluently, like, like I know it's not going to be like, it's not my power. I know a lot of people are hearing us talking about God and Holy Spirit. We are all believers of God. And we have come this far with the help of, the, if we believe it's the help of God and the Holy Spirit. So if you are a believer of God, just rely on God and God is going to help wisdom. you. Mm. And, and use the wisdom of God also. Mm. And so I, I, I head on to that and my child is going to do this. Even though they are twins, of course, one is still struggling to read like fluently, but one was able to achieve it. And mm. I understand it's okay. I don't have to push you too much as long as you are also moving. Mm. So we don't compare. At the same time, you have that vision. If your vision is clear, it's, able, it's very easy for you to achieve. But if you don't have any, you don't have vision, you don't know what you want. One day at a time we sleep, we wake up. Your mm -hmm. child can talk to you on the phone, uh, whatever. My my children are using phone, yes, don't get me wrong. I know some parents, they don't do it in their house, no TV, no phone. My children are doing But whatever they are doing on the phone or TV, tell whatever I can teach them is what they are learning from them. Uh, from there, from the media, from the screen, whatever it is. I ensure it's educational, it's something that is impactful. Sometimes they will say something like, how did you get that? I don't even have time to do that now, but already they are learning. Mm -hmm. As much as we use whatever we are using positively, 
and you study your child because I know there is an electronic screen syndrome which you have to be careful yeah. to as a parent. So don't leave your child on the screen because she's learning or he's learning. We have to be sensitive. But the most important thing is let the vision be clear. Don't forget that only the vision. Sorry, that brings me to I think you also need to sync your vision with your partner. Mm -hmm. One person might have a vision and the other person just wants to relax. He just he when I'm saying relax, yeah. not, not be a part it's of it. It's amazing when a child thinks on their screen. Your stress just goes away mm. because they are engrossed in that thing. There's quietness in the house. I know. No. You've had it's a lot of time, you know. So sometimes... Um, both husband yeah, and wife both 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 see. So that when you're not there, your partner is out. How long have you been on? Mm. Oh, I had to adopt that app. Mm. I told you I got an app that shuts down their pad. Whatever they are using. Straight off. It just cuts it off. That's nice. Yes, and it has a limit of what, how long they can stay on this app. If you're on YouTube, kids, 30 minutes a day, that's it. Mm. And it's telling me what you're watching at that time. It's telling me where you are. Mm. It's telling me what you're doing. That's and if I feel like you're not being very good, and then I don't even struggle with email or anything. Shut down. <laughs> I shut down. I shut down. Yeah. So that's good. These are things that, as a millennial, as somebody who's raising kids of this century, these are things we need to keep at rest. Mm -hmm. like, sorry, I'll just say, don't sleep on it. <laughs> don't sleep on it. Don't, on it. don't sleep on it. Mm -hmm. If you sleep on it, your child will become mm -hmm. more sensible than you are. Mm -hmm. So just you need to keep on your toes all the time. And things are really happening. Yes. Exactly. Yes. 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 She, 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 she was doing something. Seven. Hmm. She's not even seven yet. I had to go to school and ask the teenagers and teach please, which one is this? Hmm. They told me and I went back to her like, excuse me, ma, you can't have it. Mm -hmm. Because your mates mm -hmm. are not using this kind no. of thing. Then she's like, but mommy, mm -hmm. the next person's daughter is using it. Mm -hmm. Yes, she is, but mommy doesn't want to get yes. to use it. Because this and this and mm -hmm. this, you know. So a lot of times we mm. we get influenced at certain age because mm. we have friends who are using certain mm. things. It's true, it's true. That person is okay with her child. Mm. That was fine with them. I'm not judging them. Mm. And the kids that sorry to cut you the kids are this generation, they're very smart. Yes. They're gonna ask you why, why you have mommy. Oh. Oh. So that's why it's always that question. Well, so it's always good for us to be a very good discussion <laughs> between us and our and children. So explain. You know, okay, their family role well. is different. Yes. Mm. The rules are different. Their mommy can allow that. But here it's not allowed. Because we know it's not good for you. So it's very mm. good to communicate. Mm. The kids are very smart. The questions I receive from my children these days are always pretty healthy. <laughs> and it's not, you know, not only academics, things about, you know, things you it's want to discuss with them when they are 12, when they are 12, oh, when they are <laughs> <laughs> they are <laughs> been asking me a particular question. How did we really come out of oh, it? Really? And I said, I went to the hospital, but ah. <laughs> was it caught? Was it up? I said, okay, you know, when you grow up, sometimes when you grow up a little bit, you know, like this. but I discovered that they still come back with some, they know some questions that they, they want you to answer. So I've it, had that question too, and um, as long as we have it, when I had the last one, they were all the but no one there. So they did see the whole big belly when you had her name from the belly. And then they saw my cuts. Mm. So, so the mommy so he came out of this place. I said, yes, mm. he came out of this place. And so mm. now they understand. Uh, this is so, did they cut me out too? She said, I said, yes, they mm. cut me out. <laughs> yeah. And if you're not caught, what are you going to tell your child? So, <laughs> but anyway, you push. <laughs> so, but it's very Kids are very smart. In my house, my kids are, can be so extreme. Sometimes I say, Holy Spirit, what do I say? And sometimes I don't even have the answer. I just, okay, can we just talk about this later? Because I need to go and prepare my self psychological. Yes. So, but they are very, and they don't forget things. Mm -hmm. They'll come back for that. They ask, Mommy, you said we, so but we need the help of the Holy Spirit. It's we need the help of okay for you to tell your child, I don't, I don't know this at now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> When it's time, I will, yes. I will talk to you I about it. She was amazed when I told her, Mommy, you don't know. I said, Sweetheart, Mommy doesn't know everything. That's what we say in the house. Yeah. Yes. Mommy doesn't know everything. Mommy will go back. I'll think about it. I'll be more about it. And I'll tell you. It. I'll mm -hmm. about Definitely. It. Mm -hmm. so, and I, I, there's one thing about parenting that irks me these days. So there's, there's so much going on on social media. You see parents who are flawless with their kids. They don't show you the background of what is happening. Mm. With their children, please stay in your lane. <laughs> <laughs> That's the word. Stay in your lane. My English, stay in your mm. lane. Don't, don't 
don't look at someone. Social media is like can be so deceptive, amazing. Mm. Oh, there was a family I was following as at the time the son is the same age as my daughter. My daughter couldn't read, and the son was reading at age three. I was like, hey, God, help me. What is going on? This son was talking fluently, was speaking French, was speaking English. I said, God, help me. My child is not stressed. Talking. I began to give myself palpitation. Mm -hmm. No, that's it's uncomfortable. uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. Don't bother with those things. Don't, don't so I tell people, you know, we can't compare kids. The most important thing is for us to understand our unique child. As a teacher, what I do when I get to class is to understand every child. That's and that's why the workload is always more on me because I want to handle each child individually. To so know where to so assist and yes. to help. So as a, as a mm -hmm. parent also, we have to understand that children are not the same. However, because I've seen this over the time that people say, children are not the same and they tend to relax and they have to do it. The fact that your child is not like, not on the same pace with their age mate does not mean, okay, you don't care. You have to care. Do I made a video last week about the selfish parent. Mm. Sometimes they go, it's okay, it's normal. I was this way, no. It's okay, don't worry yourself, relax and do your part. Either crawling, running, jogging, every, all, all of them will meet at the top. Mm -hmm. just, just ensure your child is just standing and staring. Mm -hmm. If he's going to crawl, just move. As long as, you, as much you are doing your own part as a mother, yes. you are, you as long as you're moving, everything you is going needs. to be fine. Everything is going to be okay. Mm -hmm. So, and then we're supposed to be talking about uh, what are the changes, right? Or what, what are the things we would have done differently? Mm -hmm. So, for me, I think it's about the potty training, the diaper. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's part of the, what affected me, maybe it's going to be environmental or educational belief. Mm. You know, we so much believe that three years sports training. Mm. And back home in Africa, it's not actually like that. No. So I was so relaxed, like my kids, okay, at two plus, two and a mm. half, they were told they are not they were not wearing diaper anymore. Mm. But they were anytime you're going out there still with mm. like three years. Mm. So not until one day I was making a video call with my kid sister. Mm. And I saw a one year old baby mm. sitting on the porch I'm like, hey <laughs> <laughs> what have I done to myself? <laughs> Say, what have I done to myself? Mm. So if there's something, I'm going to change in my next set of twins. Mm -hmm. Next set Start of on time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so in my next set of twins is to ensure that the potty training starts early. start earlier. So it's just mm. maybe earlier, introduce it to them, let them sit on the... I was not doing any of that. I was just so relaxed. Like, okay. And it's, you are very right. Like in my own case, my, my children, they don't poo in their diaper or their nappies. Why? Because early in the morning, my, my mother and even now I'm a karem, I go to work. If I'm beating them, after beating, I'll make sure they sit on the potty. I sit at their back. They will sit on the potty. If maybe three months, four months, they will sit on the potty. Mm -hmm. And they want to put the pool inside. My, I was no diaper then, no diaper, no nappy. You will not see them pool inside the nappy until they are on the potty. Wow. Because they are used to the potty from I, that I was so I bless God for that. Mm -hmm. Not washing pots, uh, pooping now. Man, very clean. I, I brought even when I was coming, I brought one annoying. If I bring in that out to you, that was a nappy my children use. White, because they don't poo in the pot because they are used to sitting. That's I, I tell you, there's something I tell I'm you. going to correct. I my tell you, it is. works. I think that's the only aspect. It works. Like, it really works. works. Okay, you didn't yeah, do this one. Well. It works. <laughs> And you know they were like two years older than that. It was my, my niece, and mm. I'm like, what's she doing? I have the one. Mm. She wants to use the party. I said, what? Yeah, it was. And my children are here. <laughs> <laughs> so that was like a, a wake up call for me. Like, oh, what have you done? It works. It really so, true. It started. And for yeah. them, one thing I realized with my children is even as silly as when you were as young as one, mm. if you discuss something with them, it mm. works. It works. Like even till now, just prepare their mind. Mm. When I was when I was going to stop their bottle because they were so addicted to it, mm. the milk bottle. Mm. Because I think my mom taught them because they were too just old like this and drink. Mm. So, so every night if they want to sleep, they will have drink it. that. Mm. Mm. They don't want to sleep. And I said to them, we had a meeting. Uh, you're going to stop this. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to stop this uh, bottle. <laughs> there is milk. But you drink in the cup. In the cup. If you want to drink milk, I'm like, Mommy, you should have all this. I said, okay. And I took them to the garbage truck. And I said, pack all your bottles, let's trash together. Mm -hmm. So at night, they knew that uh, even though I went back. In case of emergency. So they're like, Mom, Mommy, yes, I uh, You heard that. He's like, Mommy, really? Uh, okay. They were just rolling on the bed the first night. I said, like, mm -hmm. ah, Mommy, we trashed the bottle. 
we trashed the bottles. <laughs> so I gave them, they were able to. So for them, just, and I believe a lot so of them. So through it. See, I believe a lot of children and they have just talked mm. about it. Mm. This whole, let them say their views, let them mm. know, they know we are grown now, you can drink mm. your. And so those are the few things I think if I'm going to have my next mm. few days, I'm going to correct. Mm. All right. Is there anything you, okay, you said there's nothing. Personally, with your experiences, with our experiences, whatever, that this, has, this is very challenging. Mm. Like I said, it's the feeding, the, my feeding, the feeding, the feeding of my first son. That is where I, I didn't do very, very well. That was I'm seeing it as a challenge now. It's not a challenge, you know, because it's affecting him now. It's affecting him now. But the girl took of anything she can eat because I've learned my lesson. That is one of the happens. I've learned my lesson, so she he said it. But he. It doesn't. That's why. Like for me, I'm transitioning from me and my to introduce him now because yeah. he's solid. And I notice he doesn't like Cerelac. He mm. doesn't like anything formal. Mm. Because I tried it the first time, he threw up. He threw up. He took it, but he threw up. I tried it the second time, he took it, he threw up. Mm. But then I noticed when I was eating, he was looking at me. Then I, I gave him some stew and he took it. That's well. yeah. And I said, Oh, you want to want for this? Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, yeah, yes, it's okay. But does it have to, the truth is that for me, if my child doesn't want Cerelac or any, I'm, I'm going to be very happy about the, the it. About my, my it's a very good thing. Was that she, at some point, she stops all forms of Cerelac. And I was mm. that posh mom that had just. Yeah, you must just take it. I want <laughs> you to take it here. <laughs> Jazz, I was blending carrots and peas. Like and all that. that. No. She wanted to go at my last And they went to. Yes, the yeah. next one. She had a bowl of pounded diamond. Wow. Mm. And that was eight months when we got there. Wow. So that's so really, I, for me, at some point, I don't worry about those so, things. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you just need to like watch them and see what they're like. Because when I hit it, it doesn't, it threw up when he took the cereal. Then I'm like, it. but when I gave him, when I was just putting bits and bits in his mouth, he was taking it and he dropped nothing. And I said, oh, you want my food? Okay, I'll try Okay, so that's they don't have to tell Puri or anything mm. like that. If they want, fine. But most, I, what I'd like to encourage mommies to do is ensure they are doing finger food. Yeah. Mm. So that they can let yes, it's yeah. very, very important. If there's something I know I did and I was very really happy about it, but at the time that my my daughter was not breastfeeding, and maybe almost ten months, they were all both of them were feeding by themselves. By themselves. Even with spoons, mm. I'll just put them there. That's yeah. because there was no. I, help. I, I think the issue is that a lot of people don't like mess. Uh, it will happen. It's going to raise the mess. It doesn't happen when, when children come. And I think also these are just ideas that they have from seeing pictures. It doesn't happen. <laughs> My daughter will eat and the yogurt is everywhere. <laughs> okay, it's fine. You clean, you bathe. You bathe in the bath and she bathes. Mm. But the next time, trust me, she's eating the yogurt. Better. So it's like that. Yeah, that she that becomes. Yeah, and it doesn't. I have three kids. I don't have the time to be sitting there and be feeding one person and be chasing this one that food. That no, no, no. Even now, if you are bringing your child to school, they will ask you, "Can he feed himself? Yes, is it potty tree?" Yeah. If you don't, we are sorry. We are not. He's not coming to school. Yes. <laughs> I was even surprised. Three years old child in my school. You must be able to clean yourself. Clean yes. yourself. Because they don't, yeah. They don't do it. Yeah, because of, they don't like touching here. Yeah. yeah, so they that's why you just have to train them to be dependent. And I was so like, when my yeah. kids went to school, and I was like, you just have to teach, train them. Oh, and I will see. Yes. Mm. Yes. You use the washroom, then they stop. Said, I don't want to use. Mm. Because I know if you use, it's not comfortable. Comfortable. I said, okay. Did you use? I would say that you didn't clean what I said. Yeah. You were like, on that. Thing. Yeah. You were on that. You have to clean like this. Train. Mommy is train. Yeah. So, but it's good. It's, it's good. It's very good. Oh, so if you if you are the kind of mom, mm. I would say, it's everything where it's going to be messy. I'll just feed my child. Mm. It's part of being selfish. Yeah. You are a selfish mother. Child. So you have to allow your child to try. Yeah. You try, learn from your mistakes. You just mm. do it again. Just I made a video I was talking about. It's not too early for you to ask your four years old to do this, this year's five years. It's not, it's not easy because it's a lot of work. It is. But sometimes, you know, when I get tired, I say, Mommy, I want to go and do this. She goes, oh, Can you wait for a moment? <laughs> because I know I'm tired. The dishes will take forever, the water will be running, <laughs> and the water and the kitchen is really a mess. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, and I'll say, okay, sometimes I'm, even though I'm tired, I know it's good for her or for them, I say, okay, just go ahead. 
So it's always good for us to allow our children to try out whatever we think is not going to be easy for us. It's not going to be easy, yes, but it's part of our... That's parenting. Yes, parenting. Do you have to do it? So we're just going to be rounding up now. Before we go, I would just uh, like uh, all the moms to just give one advice or one or two to the intended parents, maybe caregivers, or whatever. Just just advice to those who are looking up. Can I do this? Can I be a mom and this? Like, uh, uh, what, what, what I would just say is that, you know, when it comes to parenting, like we've been saying, it is God. And these children are actually gifts from God. So if you want to really, uh, and you are going to give, give accounts about the way you train them to God, not to people, to God. So the most important thing, make sure God is involved in the training of your children. Don't put God aside. I, I, I always say, carry your children along. What they see you do. It's like the ones that are growing up now. When they see you do, they follow suit. If you don't want to have stress over your children, even at the tender age, don't say it, it is still a baby. It is still small. Mm. Not now. No child. Like we have been saying, the kind of question they're asking us. So there's no small child anyway. Carry your, if, like your baby is still seven months. If you want to pray, if the baby, if he's not sleeping, put the baby on the bed. Praise God. Like that. Don't say you put the baby. No. Let your baby be involved in whatever you are doing. There's a man of God that says that if you don't introduce your, a child to an, an, an altar of prayer, when the baby is small, the baby will not know altar of prayer when it's growing. So from the beginning, anything you do that you know it is good, it is godly as a parent, Introduce your children to it unless you know this thing is not okay. That is why, boy, if he's no godly and is in line with God, introduce your children to it at the tender age. At the tender, when it comes to dressing, I'm dressing, eating, the way they talk, everything. No, let it from, let it be from when they are young. Let it. Thank God you are raising your children here now, like I said. But those that raised it before they came here. They have some little challenges. Thank God we are here raising them. So let us introduce the things that are godly with them. No? And when it comes to discipline, don't take discipline mm. away from your children, my sisters. Mm. Don't take children discipline from, from your children because uh, you will pay for it in a big time. So that's what I'm going to say. Introduce your children to what you are doing that is godly. That is okay. That is in line with God's wisdom. And that's good. Uh, thank you very much for that. Yeah. So I'm just going to buttress on that. You know, when we introduce things to our children, it's not everything we do, she has said it. So I want us to know that our children are our mirrors. Whatever you're doing as a parent, be it father or mother, oh. that is not good enough. You think about it, did I want my child to do this? To do the same. But you know it's not good enough, just stop it. Stop. Don't because we have to model what we want our child to do. So modeling is the best way to parent it. To parent it. Or to any teaching job. Mm. When you model what you want to see, there is no way. Mm. Even mannerism. Mm. The way we talk, we realize that our children are taking our mannerism. If you know, if you have bad manners, I know that you don't want your child to have it. I would just advise you to stop it. Because at the end of the day, you just be shouting, don't say like that, don't copy me. No, it doesn't work with kids. <laughs> <laughs> don't copy me. They learn from us. Yes, don't they copy learn me, from it doesn't us. work like that. We just have to model what we want to see. And with modeling, everything is going to go on smoothly. Yeah. And don't sacrifice your child on the... I'm just giving you... I like that. Advice. I like that a lot. On the altar of friendship. Mm -hmm. So a lot of... My, my friend daughter, is doing it. My, my friend, his daughter is wearing this. My daughter yes. should wear this. Yes. No. A lot of people no. don't understand me when no. it comes to parenting. No. Or even before I became a parent. No. I said no. something to so somebody one day. I said, if no. I'm not a mother, if I don't have children, I said, God even knows it's not going to be the same. Because I've lost people's children and it became something of like, ah, she's not even a mother, how come? You know, it's like you're doing too much. Mm -hmm. You can't even say, what does she know? She's mm -hmm. a, so let me tell you, the greatest mistake a mother can do in life is for you to sacrifice your children. I don't want to offend my friend. My dear, your friend can walk away. It's not by force. Friendship is not by force. But parenting is a must. So please hold this to yourself. Not because your friend is going to be offended and you are letting your child do what you know is against your family rule. Don't do it. It's very good. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. So over to you. Any advice for the intended parent? Yes, like I've, I've just always said, like um, your journey is your journey. Have a vision. Know what you want for your kids and work for it. Parenting is not 
a work in the park. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. hard work. Hard work. It is hard work. So <laughs> it's true. It's true. You need to focus it's on true. being a parent. It's true. And that's that's the most important. It's true. If you, you can't know everything, seek for advice from people who are wise and read books. Yes. Read yes. books. Read. 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 Sometimes I just pick up my phone and I'm on Google and I'm like, how to be this, to, how to stop to be sincere with this, how to potty train my child, how to. What really helped me was this Christian woman memory from the Pal Life. I started reading, my mother is from, she from Deeper Life, she joined Deeper Life later. And they have, they have this magazine. There's an aspect of children, teenager, this in the book. If you come to my house, I pack it from Ninja. It's in my home. It's in my home. A lot of things about child training, they, they'll just pick a topic and talk on it. It's in my home. So read, when you read books, it's knowledge, it's power. Don't say you don't want you, you don't want to read book. You must read book or you must gather information. Gather information from anywhere you think it is. And thank God for we have access to what she's saying now. You can open your Even phone. Doubt, ask. You can learn from there too. Mm-hmm. Get information from Google like she has been. Like the half she said now. I don't know about it. She said it now. Which is very, very good. I can control my children, even my own bedroom. Quack, egg loss, go and sleep. Don't, instead of go and drop your, go and, when it's 12 30, go and drop in the sitting room. But the help will just help, we just help you. Life make easy, you know? So you get information. If she's not here today, we can't have this information. So information is power. And you can get it from any source. Godly information, I'm talking about godly information, not just any information. Once you want. Yeah. Miss Faith, any advice for the moms? Yeah, I'm intending moms. Uh, well, don't be scared that will I, how can I be a mom? Will I be able to make it? Will I, am I capable of being a good mom, of parenting? I feel God has deposited in every human being the ability to parent a child. Because he gave us the command, we should go multiply, be fruitful and multiply. So don't be scared that you're going to fail as a parent. No, it's going to give you the wisdom. All you need to do is depend on him. Mm-hmm. He will guide you on what to do and how to go about it. And also, as you all said, if you don't want them to do it, if you are doing it, they're going to do it. They're going to do it. Yeah. Not you. you can't say do as I say, don't do as, as I, I do. do. <laughs> you know, they look at you. And sometimes the way you talk, the way you work, before you know if they are doing the same thing. So be a role model to your kids. Whatever you don't want them to do, don't please do don't do it. And as mommy said, introduce them to prayer early enough. Like sometimes when I'm praying and my son, my baby's up, we just keep me and we're speaking in tongues yeah. before he knows it. Before you know it, he say, he say, he say praise the Lord. Before you know it, he say thank you Jesus. Before he say, yeah. It's very good because at the end of the day, good. they are from God. And God just gave us, gave them to us to train yeah, for just a while, and they'll go back and we'll give accounts. I can't so please, please, please. And when you said, when in doubt, ask. And I also, like before I came back, I was watching God's how to do this, how to um, put your child in a routine, when everything I was reading, because we can't ask our parents some things because of the century we're living in, the new age. Things have changed. Yeah, yeah things are different have from us. Things have changed. So you just need to keep reading. Every step of the way, new things come along. Yes. I was told to learn new things. Yeah, that's how you can year. stop learning. Learning. Exactly. Yeah. And don't think you cannot learn from anybody. Yes. True. Because some people do say this one is younger than me. I can't learn from her. <laughs> when it comes to knowledge, it's not about age. It's true. true. You don't it's have to be proud. You don't have to be proud. You can learn from and like now I've learned from from yeah, her. Uh-huh. Like the you giving your if I want to cancel somebody now about routine, I didn't do it. But I have from both of you that you put because we know that that the baby eats jaw, eat, give the baby food anytime, 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 long time. But it's not like that. You should be on routine. I learned that today. So and it was okay for you both. So that means it's useful. So you learn from anybody. Anybody, anybody. My mom said, even from a gay man, you can learn from a gay man. Really even your nanny in true. the room, you can learn from your nanny, those that have nanny. So don't don't close your mind to knowledge. Learn from us. As long as we are not full of ourselves, I know. Yeah. So yeah. we keep learning yeah. and learning. Yeah. Learn you know, the greatest mistake, I really don't know, finish now, but the greatest mistake a mother can do is 
you want to use your child as an experiment, what you're not sure of. Mm -hmm. There's some error that can happen that you cannot correct it, that you need to regress it for the rest of the mm -hmm. So when it comes to the issue of children, parenting, you can learn from your own mistake, but don't use your children as experiments. Why not just ask questions? Check online, everything is available. Yeah. We're just gonna be rounding up now. We know it's been a long, long, long time, but it's been an amazing time. I personally enjoyed this time and I've learned so much from all the moms that are available today that are here today. And I believe that if we call you again, you are going to answer us. So we are saying thank you so much for coming from all of us from the Vision Guide. We are not taking your coming for granted. We are so grateful. We are so grateful. We say thank you very much. And we're so happy to have you. Thank you for having us. We are here. I will leave next time we call on you. You are going to do this again with us. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Miss Faye. Thank you, Miss Bomi. And thank you, Mommy Pat, for coming. Welcome. So we're going to be having more of these real talk with moms. So look forward to that. And if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, know that all our videos are available on our YouTube channel. So just go ahead, click the button. And if this video has blessed me, I know it's ble it has blessed me personally. So why not share with friends and family? It's going to be a great blessing to them. So don't forget, I'm Oye, Oye Lai, your parenting coach. Bye for now.